like a chat to him right now. I'm silent. It's quite big. Oh, spring has arrived. Spring has sprung. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so nice for it not to be windy once in a while. <laughs> Is it going to be like that? Yeah. Can't wait to see you edit that. And I need all of those sound effects recorded, please. We could move into a houseboat instead. Yeah. They're a bit bigger though, aren't they? Move into one of these. One of Ben's brother's friends lives on one of these boats. And I think it is the biggest boat, isn't it? up to it now. Could be. It's absolutely huge. Like I would say it's bigger than your average house. It's all like open windows on one side mm. and it just looks out. Gorgeous view. Though. Sunset. Smell of low tide. Mm, mm, mm. I should have got sushi tonight. <laughs> Definitely. Come on, we got lots of tidying to do. <laughs> Holiday is officially over, it's back to work. I'm just taking a moment, just enjoying it. it rarely happens. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Why isn't the power on? Why aren't the lights on? Why is this a mess in here? Why are you doing standing there? You need to crack on. Work, work, work. That's not going in. That's going in. Everything you say to me goes in. Well, hey everyone. I've been. I've been so MIA for so long. And now I'm back for a day. Uh, sun, the sun's about to set. It's an evening sun's about to set. If we don't uh, want to talk about where we've been. Okay. I'm looking at the camera. The camera's there, right? I'm looking at the camera right now. Me. <laughs> so it was my birthday. I don't know if anyone saw, but it was my birthday last week. And Ben whisked me away to Estonia, which was amazing. I'd never even heard of the place, to be honest with you, when I got there. I've I was... never heard of Tallinn. You've heard of Estonia, yeah. but you didn't Sorry. know Tallinn most <laughs> at all. So we went to Tallinn Pretty for sure five days and it was just fantastic. What a glorious place. Beautiful. Nutella, pistachio, no, it's duck. Duck and caramelised onion. Yeah, a plum sauce, I think, like poisoned duck, I think, basically. And a croissant. But we are full of wine, full of food, and wow. raring to get back to the boat now, so. Wow. <laughs> We're still in a bit of post-holiday blues, I think, but I think once we're back here, yeah. we've come, we've had a day, we've been down to the workshop today, it's an absolute mess. I've destroyed it over the last few couple of months, and so we went down there and we spent a couple of days pretty much just blitzing it, got everything out, been to the tip a few times, and we've got rid of most of it. So it's really tidy in there now. We're really happy with the work we've done, but we just wanted to come down here tonight. We came down here to get some stuff to take to the tip as well. And you know we love a tip run. But then we saw it was absolute pit. So we've been sat at home. So that's kind of bad, been like we should really come down here. 
and he was about to start doing some editing, but we turned instead, as it was such a beautiful evening. We'll take a little stroll down to the boat, have a little tidy, and then we'll go home for some dinner mm. in about an hour or so. And now um, I've been, I finished work as well for the last few weeks and going forward. Um, we've got our evenings back as well, which is like, oh no. <laughs> so basically we are trying to go for like nine, 10 o'clock bedtime, which is glorious. <laughs> It's great. All party people. We had we had dinner at six pm last night. Watched a movie. We were in bed by half nine. It was wonderful. Anyway, let's crack on with some tidying. So tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be such a productive day. There's so much work done, tomorrow. isn't it? Can't Check just watch this, this space. Okay, so what we've got, okay, so we finally know what we're gonna do with the port side between the oven and the forward bulkhead. We're gonna have a seat that goes all the way. So before I cut two pieces of nine mil ply that I'm gonna to glue together to make a piece of 18 mil, I somehow made a mistake. I still can't quite figure out how I made the mistake, but I basically cut them too short. So what I've done, I've gone and scribed one edge to the hull. Um, and made that line perfect so that I can trace that line onto the next piece. However, it was a bit short. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount that onto another piece of nine mil ply that is big enough. And then I'm going to basically fill the gap in with the little batten that I made, which will be glued and screwed as well. Most of that is gonna get trimmed off anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm not too, I'm a bit annoyed because I wish I'd done it right the first time, but it's all right, that piece is still the right length so that it can be used as the back support for the sofa so i'm not too worried very little wastage because of that mistake but it just who cares no i do actually i care i shouldn't be wasting wood it's very expensive anywho and then we're going to have a floating shelf that is going to hold a wood burning stove um we're working with the guy he's going to make us a really small one um we have had we had the diesel burner, so we know that we can put a flue up because we have it on the starboard side. It is the wrong side. We are going to move it over to the port side, so we know it can be done. And that's just going to be a really nice bit of warmth. They heat up so well, they're so efficient, and we're really excited to have that. The reason we're putting it on a shelf is because we the seat is going to go all the way, and then the wood burner is going to be over the seat. So when we're sitting in a little reading nook, we can lay out and put our feet underneath the wood burning stove and get our feet nice and toasty. So that's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, still got to think about what we're going to do with the storage ideas behind it. So we're going to have a little seat back and then some shelving. We don't know if we're going to have some um, open shelving or some closed off storage. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I've got one. No, 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 no. All over. Tube's cancelled. We're about to start building a box because we've got a, we've bought ourselves a storage box so that we can keep basically all of our tools near the boat and we'd have to run back to the unit, even though this is completely contradictive of the reason we got the unit. <laughs> oh, is it not? What are we doing then? We're, we're using it so that we can empty the locker on the boat and just store it here so we don't have to travel to the unit. Let's start again. We have bought a very cheap but usable box that we can lock. So this is our storage box. We bought this from Lidl for like under 30 quid. That'll do the trick. Basically we want to empty everything in uh, our cockpit lot lockers so the Ben can start um, fixing some bits inside the boat that connects with the locker outside. So we want to basically take everything off the boat and not have to take it all the way to the unit so we can keep it here um, under the boat. So I'm going to build this. Bye. <laughs> God, I can't wait for it to be warm again. Uh, every time I walk around here, there's a boat that's really here that catches my eye every time. It looks like an aluminium textured hull. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. I can look at it sometimes. I've just pulled it out. So I can get it oh, have they? Yeah, I can get it on my nose. I'll get in touch with the owners. I like your hull. I like I'll try, your I'll try bottom. The I just want to touch it. 
Go touch the button. I'm gonna go touch the button. Are you then, you might? Great chat. Yeah, love you. Yeah. Love you what? <laughs> So the box that I just built downstairs, uh, we are basically going to empty this locker here uh, and put it all in that box. All of this stuff is currently in the way of being able to repair down there, we'll show you in a minute. Um, and this is also where the diesel tank it currently is. We want to get that out. It's all corroded and horrible so we want to get rid of the diesel tank or at least get a new one. And just get in there and give it a good old tidy and also this piece of wood which I'll show you which basically um, separates the inside to this cockpit locker is just full of terrible terrible holes which I don't even know what they were for but one says hot over it yeah it's all the one hot says the warm over the, it where the taps were oh okay okay so it's the taps there is a function for it everyone <laughs> still they could have made you like made better holes they're terrible I've done most of the damage on here. Excuse me, you're in all of the videos but me, let me talk. It's annoying because there's definitely room to sleep in here. I think I can sleep in here quite easily. What a state. There we go. This is what we need to repair from this side. Right, so you can see the chlorophyre is just been ripped off the wall with some quality fiberglass work. One over there seems all right, but um, this is coming off. We're going to swap this out completely. See what the engine room. And with the help of some friends, we were able to lift the diesel tank out of its old home and off the boat ready for us to tackle another section of our boat. Thank you for watching another episode of Sailing Rum Punch, as if the next one will hit 30 episodes. Join us then as we continue to make this old girl our dream floating home. Thank you.